Ace Strike just landed in Infinite Galaxy, a third-person shooter that looks insanely fun. So, let's explore this thing and figure it out. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskel Gaming, and in this video, sponsored by the makers of Infinite Galaxy, we're checking out Ace Strike for the first time. And this game mode, I'm just, like, so tempted to push the launch button and see what happens here. But it looks like it's a third-person shooter with your sweet-looking spaceship here. So I notice a couple things right away. You've got a bunch of stats up top. You've got a skill here, a passive skill. Hit points of all fi uh, fighters. Uh, now, it just says fighters. Interesting. So presumably this is a fighter, not a frigate, destroyer, or cruiser. And it does have separate technology. So I have some number of tech points, which you can see all the way in the upper right of the screen. I have 721 of them. Now, these fighter tech points, the resource used to increase the fighter's various battle abilities, you can get tech points from building or modifying flagships. There it is. So building and modifying flagships is how you get more of these. The stronger your flagships are, the more tech points you have. And presumably there's a way to reset these tech points, which as you cruise through here, there are a lot of different options here for how you can ultimately improve your fighter. I'm very tempted to just start to apply some points. In fact, what's important to note here is that you can only unlock higher tiers of modification after completing lower tiers. So let's see how this goes. If I put one level into fighter hit points, I can't go any further yet. So I'm gonna drop in another two levels and I can go to the next thing here fighter shields i'll drop one in and i can't go to the next level so let's max that out now i'm on fighter armor so let's max this out so that i can proceed okay and now i need to do fortify shield regeneration i'm improving my shield recovery rate and at this point i have now unlocked tier two however now it looks like i've got some tech tree options i can go armor hit points and shields or it looks like it can improve my auto cannon damage auto cannon energy now is there a way to reset these points i don't know that i see a way to reset these so it's, it could be that once you commit like you're kind of committed also it looks like your fighter levels up a fair amount here i kind of just want to tech up and see what happens here so if i do the top tree cannon damage i do need to take this to the max level before it unlocks the next thing I'll do the auto cannon energy limit, sounds spicy. And I can't actually proceed yet. I need to get the other tree below it to proceed. So it looks like you don't need a reset necessarily because you have to get everything in order to proceed. Okay, I think I'm following now how this works. Let's upgrade this sucker, oh baby. I'm sure this is gonna be like pretty easy for the early levels because of how advanced my tech is. So um, let's just max this out. And I max this out. And you see I can't proceed yet. So we'll go and upgrade to max on the armor. And also the hit points. Let's freaking go, baby. Tacking up big time. Oh my gosh. I can do tor... I don't think I even start with torpedoes. But okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's max level this. Max level that. And the cooldown and range of my torpedoes. Okay. And I can't actually proceed to the next tier yet. So... Still, I have to have everything unlocked. And now, look at this. These go up to five points. Okay. So now, a lot more points get invested here. And I'm running out of tech points faster. I can do my missile damage. I'm going all damage, baby. All damage. We max all that out. Guided missile range. Let's go. Fighter armor. Fighter hit points. Fighter shields. Fortify my engine. What did fortifying my engine do? Movement speed. You know you love to see that. Okay, I'm almost done teching up, and then we're going to get right into the gameplay here. Cannon, cannon energy recovery, probably, I don't know, let's just max it all, baby. Because I can't proceed anyways, so it's not like I need resets, it's not like I can make talent build mistakes per se, or tech up mistakes, it seems. So now I can get to tier 8. I can do torpedo damage or guided missile damage. Maybe I just pump the brakes for now. And I'll figure out where I want those points. Let's just get this thing started, shall we? The Light Chaser. Let's uh, launch. And look at this. Tutorial stage. Stage one. 
I mean, I probably... Uh, look, let's just jam the tutorial and see how this works, shall we? Okay. Wait, why me? Greg is back. Greg, flying is an art. It's never the pilot who chooses the warship, but the warship that chooses the pilot. Oh, Helen. Clearly the commander uh, and I don't have your talent. Brilliance, courage, leadership, and uh, looks. Oh my gosh, he says he's never flown a warship before. That's not important. You have natural talent. Follow our commands. Okay. So, ooh, okay. So speeding up and slowing down and left and right. Oh man, this is going to take getting used to. I need a joystick, quite frankly. Like a proper joystick, you know? Like, I, <laughs> I used to play Wing Commander back in the day. The, oh, whoa. Okay, okay. I'm shooting. Ooh. I'm, I'm gonna... It's gonna take getting used to with these controls. Okay, this is pretty cool. Honestly. Now, okay, hold down the shoot... Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm done. Now, I can challenge a stage, and I have currency up top. I have 60 currency. And there are first clear rewards for these stages. I see only two stages, but that might be because I have to complete them incrementally to get access to the new ones. So let's get started because I need to get this currency regenerating. Presumably that happens over time. Okay. Oh, and now I have missiles. Which of these things do I want to use? This is sweet. Okay. I kind of want to shoot the missile here in a second. Do I need to leave the, the, the target? Yes. Got him. Oh, I like the, the indicators for where enemies are. Okay, and now I can turn on my cannon. This is a timed mission, apparently. So hopefully I don't suck at the time. All right. Whoa. Missiles? Oh, guided missiles are sweet. Should I be just smashing those buttons? Woo! Okay, now let's see here. I got to turn around. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, they're behind me. Okay. Wait, no, what does this button do? Oh, I'm refreshing missiles. Oh, gosh, I hope that wasn't some rare currency that I'm using up. All right, let's go. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I see where I'm, I might want to use a missile or two. Got it. Oh, man, this is awesome. I'm not saying I'm good at it. I'm not saying I figured out the controls. I'm just saying this is pretty cool. I've got shields in the upper left and health. I'm loving this so far. Oh, you know what I need is like a strafe ability. Now, I do see there's cannon energy. Okay, I'm starting to see the, the two yellow indicators for, for my different energy here. I'm getting it now, maybe. Stage clear. Was that good enough? I don't even know. I wouldn't say I was particularly fast. Cool. Stage 2 is available. Now stage 3 can be seen. And in the upper right, the fighter energy is the resource that fighters use on their journey. Recover a certain amount uh, every day and no longer recovers after reaching the maximum limit. Okay. All right. So maybe you just refresh to 60 every day. I've got a stage time here. Presumably I can do better than that as I learn these controls. And, haha. Okay. People are already all the way up to stage 10. Oh, I'm so far behind. Let's do stage two here. And uh, for first impressions, like, I, this looks like it's going to be insanely fun. Let's see here. Fire the missiles. And it looks like I have a limited number of missiles. All right. Now, those guys look like they're out of range. So I'm speeding my way over. Is that right? Can I hit him? Also, I see the little blue bar for shields and for, oh yeah, red red is presumably the, the hit points. Can my missile hit that thing? Got him. Okay, let's stay on target. Stay on target. Shoot some missiles at the sucker. Now, I have only so many missiles left here. Can't even tell if I'm hitting this cruiser. It's just so heavy. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting it. It's just really tanky. Also, I've got somebody on my tail. 
if there was an easy way to like i don't know do do a maneuver like you'd see in star wars right where you kind of flip around like i don't know how do i how do i oh man there we go this frigate's mine got him uh oh don't crash just cool don't don't crash okay Woo this is gonna take getting used to that's for sure whoa Okay, he's behind this. This this is like a good guy. What? I think that's that's my ally, and I gotta protect it. Uh oh, getting right on top of that cruiser, man. Got him. Okay, final frigate. He's way out of range. That one's not out of range, right? Is it? Uh, I'm having a hard time hitting that. Okay, okay. Oh, 1.3 come on. Oh yeah, it says okay. Now it it says out of range. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pay attention to the interface, just cool. Those guys are out of range. Might have needed to take them out at the start. Okay, got that frigate, which looked like it was kind of parked on top of this thing. GG. And now we get these last two. Yeah, dude, that thing is just standing still. I guess technically in space, that kind of makes sense that you could do that. Okay, and last one. Take a missile. Oh, those missiles are sweet. Okay, is stage clear? Yeah, we got it, baby. We got it. This is awesome. I, I'm eager to see how this advances here. Now, I just hit level two. What do I get for hitting level two? Not entirely sure. Uh, if I go back, did I get more tech points? Not sure if I did. So, there's, there's experience. Oh, wait a minute. My attack boost, my shields, my hit points, my armor just went up. Is that what's going on? Could that be? I've got auxiliary weapons here. It doesn't look like I choose. Be oh, wait, I think I do choose between them. I've got a light beam and I've got an auto cannon. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do one more mission here. I saw there was a little recycle icon right over here. Let's just give that a try real quick. Is that switching between the weapons? It is. So cool. Whoa, it charges up. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool had a laser weapon that charges up there okay and then those missiles are freaking sweet lock on and knock them down okay shoot at these guys strafe a little bit lock boom new target lock and got him oh, okay i'm getting it whoa pirate destroyer all right can i switch missiles here what is this Oh, is that a multi-shot? Let's go. That's cool. Okay, and I can do it again? Yup. I mean, you may as well use them all up as far as I can tell. This looks like the key is... Oh, that's out of range. The key is getting a good time. Still out of range. Come on. There we go. He's in range and we got him. Destroyer is down. Oh, see, now that's... That's how you clear a stage. Those new weapons are freaking sweet, man. Okay, I think I'm I'm starting to get the hang of this thing. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Switch it up. Oh, yeah. Lots of targets. Many bogeys. Here we go. Look, oh, locking on target? I thought I was locked. You look locked. Yeah, you are. Okay. Boom. This seems like the way to take out many targets all at once as I get within range here. Come on, speed it up. There we go. There we go. Thought I had sped up, but I hadn't. This that's that's how you that's how you take them down. Okay, now I gotta I gotta look out for these cannons. And uh this seems like a good opportunity to switch weapons and blast that sucker. And just make sure I don't stay too stationary or my out of range. Missile probably was in range there. Okay. And missiles. Got it. And then that missile has a, a reload time that's pretty significant, it seems. This cannon is kind of working me. Whoa, okay. Should I just stand still? Seems I'm hitting it. Okay. Got him. Oh, something's behind me. Yikes. Didn't see that. Okay. I'm getting the hang of these weapons. That. Okay. I'm going to take my big missiles here. Start launching. Presumably, yeah. Okay, so the missile was in range. 
even though I wasn't with my guns. Okay, stage clear. I still gotta get the hang of these different weapons, how they operate. We'll just get a quick look at that. Okay, level three. Dude, I'm loving this. Okay, what do we have here? I go back. Let's just review these weapons. Auto cannon, one kilometer range. See, now I'm, now that we're playing through, can take it all in and try to unpack it. This um, weapon's damage to shields is lower. So when they have shields, you probably want to use lasers, okay? This weapon's damage to shields is plus 100%. So the light beam is really good against things that are both far away and that have shields because the range is one and a half kilometers. Good to know. Energy cost is 100. The energy limit is 800 for me. The energy limit is 1,000, but a cost of one for the uh, auto cannon. So you got 10 shots with the light beam before you're completely out of juice, but it does have a little bit of a recharge time, I suppose, as you're going. And then the plasma torpedo. This weapon ignores armor by 75%, uh, and this weapon's damage to shields is reduced. Ah, so the plasma torpedo is really good after you've taken down the shields, does big damage. And then the guided missiles. I freaking love these, man. They're so cool. You sort of look in the right direction, smash the button, and they go all out and uh, seek out their targets. One and a half kilometers. So much bigger range, actually, than my auto cannon was. So if you want to take out those little fighters really quickly, it seems like you'd use those guided missiles early and often. Clear out the fighters, move in on the main target, use the laser as you're closing the distance to knock down its shields. And once you get in range, pop the plasma torpedoes on that sucker to really knock it down. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this here. And the only passive skill I have right now is hit point of fighters. So now that I understand all of this, what do I choose between torpedo damage and guided missiles? Bruh, I'm all about these guided missiles. Upgrade to max, upgrade to max, upgrade to max, upgrade to max. Let's go. And now I have to do torpedoes before I can advance anyways. Um, and on the topic of advancing, uh, this is not even all that much to advance to for me here, uh, at least in the tech tree so far. And, you know, look, um, my flagships are really advanced here. So it says this is based off of your uh, building and modifying your flagships. Okay, well, <laughs> okay. Well, my flagships are pretty freaking advanced, right? I've got a pretty much, well, Max Artemis, almost. I'm just finishing leveling it up. I've got a 13-3 Titan. I've got uh, Maxed Cyclops. I've got an 11, 11-0 uh, Hephaestus, right? Like even now, there might be reason to upgrade some of your other warships. So for example, I'm gonna do this. This is a bad idea. But um, let's just look at my tech points real quick, okay? We go in, we look at Ace Strike. How many tech points do I have? 11. What happens if I go upgrade one of my gathering ships? I know, you're all screaming out in horror as I go and upgrade my Jason. I'm just gonna do it, okay? I need 80 more patterns for the Jason. We're just gonna do this. We're gonna go to the blueprint shop. We're gonna snap off the Jason. We're gonna do eight of these. Give me what I need, confirm it. And again, number of tech points, chilling on 11. When I make this upgrade for modifying a flagship, what do I get? There it is, Jason, modify. And we were at 11, now we are at 12. <laughs> okay, one tech point. Well, the tech points are going to come pretty slowly then, aren't they? Uh, and I'll, Okay, okay, I can upgrade this one more time. And that, now I'm stuck. Now I cannot go any further. Ooh, torpedo range, actually. That would have been pretty nasty. That looks really good. That actually looks really good, that torpedo range. So, um, if you enjoyed this video, throw a like on here and consider subscribing. What are your thoughts about the ace strike? This looks very fun to me. And I hope that there is more that is happening with this game mode. I, I am hyped, man. Uh, until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies and leave a comment with your tips and tricks for this game mode. As, man, I'm, it's first impressions for me now, but I am hyped to play this more.